A prophetic word called How Shall We Live from Solitary Man Isaiah 53 All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. My son, do you see how history repeats itself? After World War II, people were tired of sacrificing and doing without. They turned as a whole to the pursuit of pleasure, of fulfilling their carnal hopes, dreams and wishes. They felt as if it was their right, having given up so much in the great conflict just ended. Initially, it was not as if they turned their backs to me and became my enemy. No, they still acknowledged me. They still attended church and practiced a form of righteousness. They still agreed with my precepts and commandments. Yet in just a few short years, their children, observing their parents' pursuit of the American dream, took it much farther and began to seriously indulge the flesh. This inevitably led in a few short decades to where we are today, where these same nations that once shone with my righteousness have now become the enemies of God. The same process is occurring today. After the restrictions of 2020, virus plague, were lifted. Are people coming back to me? Are they repenting? No, many are grabbing whatever vacation and travel that they can. They want to make up for the time lost of the last few years. All they can think of is their own pleasure. Self-indulgence is their priority. This is what Isaiah 53 teaches. The depravity of man. Every heart, without exception, goes astray. Every single one. Even if a man does not hate me, or openly rebel against me, yet it is impossible for a man to live righteously without truly keeping me first in his life. Man's selfishness will always lead to his ruin, apart from me. The West, and especially America, the greatest countries ever built, are now at an end. You marvel at all the hatred of God in your land. Yet it all started innocently enough. The people were tired of sacrifice. They became tired of self-denial. They had enough of shortages, and doing without. So when the war ended, their hearts turned toward the things of this world and the pursuit of wealth and happiness. They forgot about me, and soon turned against me. All this is to serve as a warning to my true remnant in this final hour. Do not become weary in well-doing. You are going to experience many temptations ahead to draw back. Babylon will wear you down. The battles will sap your strength. If you do not abide in me. Man was created to glorify the Father. He was given a sound mind and free will, to freely choose the good and reject the evil. Man cannot survive, apart from me. So many fall in the trap of thinking that I love and honor God, but the current cares of this world make it impossible for me to prioritize my prayer life. I will pick it up again later, when circumstances permit. This is how all my sheep go astray. No one, and I say again, no one can survive by making this choice, unless they find repentance before the end of their path. In times of peace, few notice the eternal peril that they have put themselves in. If there is one advantage for my people in this last generation, you all will notice the lack of strength and victory if you find excuses not to pray. You will not be able to stand in this evil day. Man cannot live apart from me. 
He was never meant to live outside of my light and my presence. I am restoring the true foundations of the faith that the apostles laid. No one in the first generation of the church thought that they could live a Christian life without daily contact with their Savior. Whatever circumstances are in your way, find a way to overcome it. Do not let the devil keep convincing you that serious prayer will have to wait. Sacrifices must be made, if you wish to survive. Do not be deceived by any short lull of imaginary peace. Peace has been taken away from the earth. The only true peace to be found is in the secret place, close to me, in my presence. Heed this exhortation, and you will be rewarded with the reward of the overcomer. Solitary Man